Bola Vinaka, welcome to Speak Your Mind. I'm Rita Narayan. Today we're talking about road safety and in the studio with me is Ilya Sokia, Media Liaison Officer of the Land Transport Authority. Bola Vinaka, Sokia. Bola Vinaka, Rita. You're on Speak Your Mind on Gold FM. If you have any questions for Mr. Sokia regarding the road safety campaign that's being held this month, you can email your questions to goldfm at fbc.com.fj or find us on Gold FM Fiji on Facebook. And you can also call us on 3220906 or 3220907. Now, Mr. Sokia, the uh, Land Transport Authority on Monday launched the 2013 Road Safety Awareness Campaign on, and this will be observed throughout the month of um, July. Now, firstly, why is it being held in July? And we're, we're halfway into the year. Uh, thank you, Rita. Uh, basically, uh, Rita, uh, our... Uh, existence uh, probably uh, to say that uh, one of our core functions and responsibility uh, is uh, road safety uh, awareness uh, and it's not that uh, there's a special time where we dedicate uh, this awareness campaign for for us to create an awareness and, and an outreach uh, for members of the public to be aware of uh, uh, the do's and don'ts of uh, road safety in fact our awareness is almost every day. Uh, it's an ongoing issue uh, every day. Uh, we have uh, our enforcement officers uh, on the road almost every day. Uh, we have uh, our outreach team uh, creating uh, sorts of awareness on, uh, on uh, road safety. And uh, it's just that uh, at a certain time where we need to re-emphasize and uh, get in uh, uh, the members of the public our stakeholders and uh, uh, those who we know that uh, that uh, that uses uh, road uh, on a daily basis, that we need to re-emphasize the importance of observing uh, regulation and rules and observing uh, road-related uh, rules, uh, because uh, in 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 a, in, a, in a daily operation, uh, this is where most of the people. Uh, commute to, or, you know, uh, in, into the road, whether you are pedestrian or you are motorist or you are passenger. Uh, this is the only mode and the means that you travel to, you know, from work. And it's very important. It's quite important that we uh, put aside uh, a certain time in a year uh, for us to always keep emphasizing the importance of observing and, uh, and, you know, and maintaining uh, a, a momentum that must be, uh, that must be consistent uh, in terms of ensuring uh, safety uh, on the road. And um, uh, also, Rita, uh, this is something uh, that uh, has been uh, declared uh, as part of uh, our collective effort uh, with government uh, and government being in partnership with, uh, with uh, the United Nations uh, declaring uh, 2011 to 2020 as a decade of road safety. So with the government, we have kind of incorporated uh, their initiative and with us, you know, being in the front line, uh, you know, uh, trying to ensure uh, whatever programs and the initiative in trying to create uh, an awareness uh, for us to be mindful of how we go about our daily uh, operations, especially when we use the road. And uh, this is a collective effort uh, internationally. Uh, nationally, and as our stakeholders here in Fiji, uh, we just want to ensure that July 1st to July the 30th, 1st, uh, this is a road awareness campaign. And as we speak, uh, we have various uh, events and activities that uh, are currently uh, being observed. Uh, we have uh, teams that are currently visiting uh, schools as we speak. Uh, we have teams who are currently uh, visiting uh, taxi and carry stand uh, awareness, uh, Rita, is something that uh, we want to create uh, some sort of uh, you know educational awareness. Uh, it's 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 uh, not more not not uh, more of uh, uh, where we seem to be you know enforcing law and actually doing a lot of booking. But this is a time where you want to educate and empower the people of you know, uh, certain rules, laws, and uh, regulation about road safety. So this is 
the, the period where we have set aside July, the month of July, just for the purpose of us uh, creating some sort of awareness. Mm -hmm. Now, you did mention that the, the road safety campaign is actually, it's ongoing. So what are some of the major areas of concern that the LTA has picked up in, in the first half of this year? Thank you, Rita. Uh, probably um, the issues that uh, have uh, uh, been developed or what we have observed uh, throughout the year are, are, are reoccurring uh, problems. You know, uh, there are ongoing uh, infringements in relation to overspeeding. Uh, these are uh, most uh, common uh, infringements that we have noticed uh, that uh, needs uh, to be emphasized in terms of uh, how, in terms of our awareness. You know, uh, there have been uh, incidents where over speeding, and, and that has even proved that it has contributed uh, basically to, uh, as a cause, a major cause of accident, of road fatality that we have been having in the couple, you know, so many years now. And uh, as we assess and analyze uh, the nature of accident, how it happened, and how we arrived to the death spot, it all, lead, it all leads up to overspeeding. And uh, we have uh, kind of gathered and we are convinced uh, that uh, this is one area that we need to target, you know. Uh, you know, we have introduced um, our speed camera you know, uh, on the road uh, uh, this year, uh, you know, with approval uh, by the government for us to introduce our speed camera. And uh, it has really helped us a lot. So uh, our presence uh, on the road is not to, to create some sort of fear to the motorists, but uh, uh, to create some sort of, of it, it, it's a deterrent, you know, for them to always ensure that they, uh, follow the rule of law, which is just stay within the speed limit. And um, excessive speed, uh, Rita, is something that we are really concerned about. You know, uh, we have motorists who are actually driving in areas that uh, are marked, you know, 50 kilometer per hour, 30 kilometer per hour, and they have uh, a no care attitude. May I say that uh, they they just you know, drive excessively, and, 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 and it's something that we do not condone. You know, we have uh, asked for those, and we have identified uh, some drivers who have uh, been driving excessively on areas that are marked, you know, they have set a speed limit, and uh, we, we, we simply call them and tell them, you know, this is excessive, this is, you know, very aggressive kind of driving, so we warn them and as you and give them a notice of one year good behavior notice should they reoffend they'll just have their license removed or revoked that mm -hmm. you know that's how much we want to we do not want to compromise the safety of the general public okay thank you so okay we'll take a short break now and we'll come back and continue with this discussion <laughs> Welcome back. You're listening to Speak Your Mind on Gold FM. I'm Rita Orion, and in studio with me is Elias Sokia, Media Liaison Officer with the Land Transport Authority, and we're talking about road safety, in particular the road safety awareness campaign that has um, been allocated or has been designated for the month of July. Now, uh, Sokia, before we went to the break, we were talking about the number of infringements, traffic infringements recorded in the first six months of this year, and LTA has released statistics and we're looking at something like 21,000 traffic infringements. That's just for the first six months of this year. And you're talking about overspeeding was one of the major areas of uh, concern in, in this whole, uh, the first six months of this year. What about fatalities? Thank you, uh, Rita. In terms of um, the infringements that we have uh, uh, right now, uh, 21,000 traffic infringement, uh, we could say, uh, these are uh, reoccurring uh, situation, reoccurring problem. You know, we've had uh, people who have been booked 
uh, three times, uh, four times, even five times uh, with the same uh, infringement. Uh, and, and this is becoming uh, a concern to us. Uh, basically, uh, the message has not uh, sunk in to them uh, properly because uh, we are always on a campaign mode almost every day uh, whereby we visit uh, school, we visit uh, a community and we village, uh, in, in, in even in the villages we visit them and uh, our message is clear uh, you know uh, you have to apply and practically emphasize and apply this sort of uh, application when you uh, you know when you are on the road whether you are a pedestrian or you're a passenger or you are a driver you know uh, with 21 uh, thousand traffic infringement we could say that uh, uh, people uh, it, it, it boils down to attitude you know attitude of uh, people probably not adhering to the rule of law uh, it's just that uh, they do not want to understand or people just uh, failing to know uh, because uh, you know every day as I've said before uh, we will spend uh, five minutes uh, on 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 air every almost every day, you know, emphasizing road safety and road safety. So uh, I think I believe it's something to do with uh, people just ignoring it, because as I've said uh, before, you know, the business of road safety is everybody's business. If you connect yourself to the road, either you are a pedestrian or ro or, ro or a driver or a passenger, you are using the road. So. Uh, for us, LTA and our stakeholders, our good friend, the police, for us to be policing everybody, the thousand and thousand of people that, you know, that uh, use the road, it's impossible. You know, it, it, it all boils down to how people take in the message of road safety, embrace it, make, you know, take it as, as something that uh, for them to, to live it, you know, and, and practically uh, apply it when they are on the road. So... Uh, this 21,000, I think, uh, it's a reoccurring problem where people tend to lose focus. There are some uh, just basically uh, talking on the phone while driving behind the wheels. Uh, some are without seat belts. Uh, some uh, some uh, have defects, a vehicle, and probably expired uh, wheel tax, and uh, probably the whole lots of infringements, uh, which has... Uh, we had, where, where we have arrived to this uh, 21,000. But uh, in all, uh, uh, Rita, uh, the most common problem that we have observed uh, is overspeeding. And, and, and that is something that we are really emphasizing for people to stick to the national speed limit uh, as, as, as we have right now, which is 80 and 60, and uh, the restricted speed limit, which is uh, in town and city area, which is uh, 50. Mm -hmm. Now, there will be some very interesting scenarios in terms of when the statistics are released that you have so-called hotspots, like the Western Division has been identified as one area where they have the highest uh, road fatalities and the highest number of traffic infringements um, but from the Western Division. What is the LTA um, able to conclude or what is, what is the explanation that, uh, that you get from this? That's right, uh, Rita. Uh, so far this year, we've had uh, 15 road fatality so far as we speak, compared to 18 the same period last year. Now, out of the 15 road fatality, I can say 90% uh, happen in the West. Now, uh, this is again uh, an issue uh, that uh, comes up uh, to our table of discussion. Uh, it's an agenda that keeps us moving in terms of uh, enforcement. So uh, basically in the last two, three, four months when uh, we introduced our speed light camera, this is where we have actually uh, taken our operation in terms of uh, capturing uh, over speeding down to the west. So, so far our concentration using speed camera have been in the west. So, uh, you know, because of uh, the so-called uh, red spot areas uh, between probably from Singatok and Nandi up to Tabua, um, Mba, uh, Rikiraki, and you know, uh, this is uh, the again, like I've said before, 
the message of road safety have has not uh, you know been filtered down properly to the motorist that's why uh, we have resorted we have re- kind of introduced uh, the speed camera just uh, some sort of deterrent for them to know and for them to realize that uh, there's someone there that cares for their life you know uh, we can bring in introduce or install 10 100 cameras speed light cameras but it again boils down to attitude you know for two or three four months we've been in the west uh this this uh, the moment uh in the last two while while we were there you know just seeing our presence uh they may have been very um you know observant of our presence and um and 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 what we found out that uh, in the last two months where we left and then uh, we have moved our operation elsewhere, we've uh, noticed that uh, there hasn't been any uh, accident in the West in the last uh, two months right now. Uh, so that is an, is an indication that uh, people are actually, uh, you know, um, probably uh, following or taking in the message of uh, road safety. and uh, But we must not be like from our side we will not be complacent in in, in doing our awareness uh, the moment like i've said uh, it's just uh, the police and us who are actually in the front line of maintaining a road safety, road safety you know on our road but in fact it must be everybody's business you know this issue of road safety must be emphasized uh, as, as, a, as a family issue family affair you know children you must be aware you must know have some knowledge of road safety parents must at least have time uh, for their children emphasize to them the importance you know some some uh, knowledge of using the road i mean even in school you know um, this must be added as probably some extra curriculum activities uh, in schools i know we have done our part but um, it need to be reinforced and people must be empowered, you know, because road safety is everybody's concern. Either you are a driver or a pedestrian or, you know, once you hit the road, you become a road, road, si- a road user and you are, road, you are ro- a road stakeholder as well. Okay, thank you, Sokia. We'll take a short break now and we'll continue with the discussions in a moment. Welcome back to Speak Your Mind on Gold FM. I'm Rita Naran, and in studio with me is the media liaison officer with the Land Transport Authority, Ilias Sokia, and we're talking about the road safety awareness campaign that is being held this month, of the month of July. Now, Sokia, before we went to the break, uh, we were talking about the number of traffic infringements recorded in the first six months of the year. Um, last year alone, you had 70,000 bookings. Um, what were some of the common infringements in in the different categories now i understand that the p-plate holders also showed up uh, quite significantly uh, in terms of the number of traffic infringements uh, that uh, were reported last year thank you um yes uh in terms of uh, the booking uh, uh, this is uh you know again um, it's a concern uh, to the authority uh, despite uh, the awareness that uh, have, has been created by the authority and uh, despite people coming in for DDC uh, defensive driving uh, courses uh, we still see that uh, the number of um, infringement that have been uh, uh, that have occurred uh, we we as uh, the authority we will always ensure that uh, road safety is paramount I think I believe that uh, it all it all boils down to negligence of some drivers. It all also uh, boils down to some uh, attitude of uh, drivers not adhering to basic uh, driving rules and regulation. Uh, like you had mentioned, uh, P license uh, drivers these are uh, supposed to be a, a a provisional license where you are not supposed to be you know found to be an infringe uh, within a certain period 
uh, before the, you are actually given a full license. You know, uh, with the number of uh, provisional license, you know, out there on, 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 on the road, uh, we believe that this could be a contributing factor which has uh, given uh, the 70,000 booking uh, in, 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 in a period. So we again uh, would like to stress uh, that uh, uh, time to time our enforcement officers are always on the lookout on the road. Uh, they will, like I said earlier, uh, life uh, will not be compromised. Uh, safety of people will not be compromised. So if uh, we always ensure that uh, your vehicle is in good order, uh, it's in uh, good uh, running condition, uh, everything must be systematically uh, you know, uh, maintain on a daily basis. Uh, to even to PSV uh, vehicle, uh, we've had a couple of incidents where PSV vehicle uh, are seen to be the main cause of uh, of uh, you know traffic uh, infringement uh, and uh, main cause of accidents. Uh, you know, uh, these are some basic messages that that we want to drive over to to motorists, uh, especially. Uh, PSV drivers, um, uh, we, you know, they know uh, that they are supposed to have their vehicle uh, in, a, in, in a good condition because they are public service vehicle. Uh, whatever uh, they do to the vehicle will determine the outcome of their service delivery. If uh, the vehicle is in a poor condition, uh, also uh, people uh, have uh, now a choice of, of various public transportation mode. Um, people would have that nature of, uh, you know, a taxi without, you know, a lot of defects. They wouldn't be very, they f don't feel comfortable going in. Uh, they, they rather catch a bus, uh, you know, for for a taxi. Uh, and now uh, we have buses that are actually, you know, in good uh, running condition. Some buses that we see on the road are quite uh, comfortable to go in. And, uh, you know, these are some issues that we would like to drive over to, to motorists. Uh, the number, Rita, 70,000 booking, uh, you know, they are all varieties of infringement. Uh, you have uh, the private uh, vehicle also, private drivers. We have uh, uh, PSV. We have a uh, provisional license holder, uh, you know, and, and this is an, an indication. But... Like I like LTA is always on a campaign, a safety campaign mode, almost every day. Mm. So uh, this is uh, what we will try and re-emphasize in the next uh, two three weeks. Now you know as we observe uh, the National Road Safety Month, the month of July. Right. Now you you talked about the PSV, the public service vehicles. We have in recent weeks had cases of where the, the safety of the traveling public has been compromised um, involving buses. We've had uh, incidences of buses uh, catching on fire. Uh, and as, as early as yesterday, we had an incident where a, a student was uh, reportedly injured uh, when the bus driver allegedly drove while the passenger was still getting off the bus and he is uh, injured and in hospital. Now, what what is the LTA doing in terms of uh, educating bus drivers, taxi drivers, or PSV drivers uh, about ensuring the safety of, of the, the passengers that they're carrying? Thank you, Rita. Very um, uh, important question. Uh, you know, public transportation, especially bus, uh, I can say probably 80% of uh, our population resort to this mode of public transportation. And I believe uh, the onus is uh, with the bus operators. You know, uh, this is uh, their investment. They have spent so much money, you know, trying to get in, uh, you know, to introduce this sort of investment. And uh, I believe from the LTA perspective, you know, that everything uh, to ensure the maintenance and the proper uh, ensuring of uh, bus that runs on the road lies with the uh, with the bus operator, uh, we have kind of established a a system with the bus operators, which uh, we call the uh, QEMS Quality Assurance Maintenance uh, Manual uh, system. 
you know, this is some sort of, um, of guideline which we've established with the bus operators where uh, it emphasizes or it details to them the sort of maintenance, you know, steps by step, you know, what to take on a daily basis, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in terms of uh, probably the ages of their bus and probably um, uh, the, what, what needs to be uh, done to ensure that uh, their bus does not come up with, uh, with so many problems on the road. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, the incident two, two weeks ago was quite unfortunate uh, we have, where we had this bus fire. But our message to, to bus operators is the onus is on them. You know, they must ensure before they hit the road, all mechanics, you know, it's, it's, it's simple mechanical uh, operation that must be checked every day. You know, this system, the QMA system, which we have established with them, it even details out, you know, the grazing part of the buses, the engine com compartment of the buses, what needs to be done, you know, the batteries, and it all, it's all, it's, it's, it's pretty detailed in detail. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as again, we have actually uh, helped them, you know, but uh, we, we, we really need to see that they take ownership of uh, what we what has been established with them for them to ensure that lives and road and and uh, safety of the passengers is not compromised. Okay, thank you, Soke. Okay, that's a good note to end this segment on. We'll take a short break and be back in a moment. Welcome back. You're listening to Speak Your Mind on Gold FM. I'm Rita Narayan, and with me in the studio is Elias Sokia of the Land Transport Authority, and we're talking about the National Road Safety Campaign, which is this being held this month. Now, Sokia, um, the number of fatalities so far this year is 15 compared to 18 for the same period last year? Yes, uh, that's right, uh, Rita. Uh, we, at the moment... Uh, uh, we can say that uh, we are sitting at our best, uh, lowest ever road fatality, uh, you know, uh, best ever recorded in the last, uh, say, 25, 30 years. Uh, last year, we uh, recorded 41 uh, 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 death on our road, which is so far the best, uh, you know, when we look at the number of fatality that we've had in the last uh, 30 years. Now, uh, we as the authority, one of uh, our biggest uh, uh, move is to try and put in initiative that will try to control the number from further escalating. You know, uh, we have started off this campaign in 2009 when we first launched the Arrival Live uh, campaign. And one of uh, the major initiative or the sets of program that we have created it as, as part of this initiative is, uh, you know, the introduction of, um, of what we had as now the speed camera. That was one of the projects that were identified as part of that Arrival Life campaign. Now, in 2011, uh, I believe um, uh, the head of government, the prime minister, launched uh, the decade of road safety the decade between 2011 to 2020 uh, being a collective effort uh, for us and also a call a national call an international call by the united nation for us to show and come up with initiative where we can actually control the number of fatality on our road you know unnecessary death has come you know uh, we cannot totally eliminate you know, a road fatality on our road. But we have introduced some sort of initiative where, can, where there is at least some sort of control, uh, you know, in terms of ensuring that there is no more death on the road. Uh, 41, as we speak right now, that's the lowest we have. Now, uh, the move right now, we are working uh, in partnership with our good friend, the police. Uh, we have tried 
and equip them with uh, some of uh, the machinery which uh, they lack, some of the resources which they lack. Uh, you know, we are working, uh, coordinating each other uh, in terms of the program that uh, they have and the ones that we will be implementing in ensuring that the number does not uh, go any further. Uh, this is a collective effort. You know, it has been proven. Uh, the WHO, the World Health Organization, has, you know, uh, has indicated, you know, according to figures and stats that have been, uh, that has been collected, that fatality, the death on the road, the fatality uh, on a road could surpass the number of uh, uh, cancer uh, patients. You know, the number of uh, people that die from cancer the fatality rate could surpass it in another 30 or 40 years time and that is a concern to you know to the world health organization and that's why uh, the united nation has also uh, joined the bandwagon in trying to put in some sort of initiative you know to those who 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 who, who want to ensure you know one our our, our country was um, identified as one country that has the biggest you know uh, road fatality so we will analyze and we've also tried to introduce some sort of initiative where we will continue to eliminate i mean to put in some control of reducing our road fatality so uh, the message is clear uh, well, the authority will always be on a campaign mode trying to emphasize our road safety we uh, believe and we are determined that uh, you know this is a collective effort from everybody, uh, whether you don't have a motor or a car or you are a, a driver or a pedestrian, uh, this is a collective effort. And uh, the authority is pleading to people, to everybody, uh, to come in and observe uh, the month of July and, 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 and put some sort of uh, awareness and uh, give some an indication, give some indication that you are with us, you know, in promoting uh, road awareness. If you, if you are uh, use, if you have a habit of uh, talking on the mobile while behind the wheel, please just refrain, refrain from, from doing that. And if you have a habit of driving without a seat belt, please put on your seat belt. You know, these are some sort of basic uh, messages. You know, very uh, basic message that needs to uh, for people to know as we observe uh, the, two, the July uh, National Road Safety Campaign. Thank you, Sokia. Now, just one, one of the common complaints that we have from road users are the, are the state of the roads. You know, lots of potholes, and that's, um, you know, that's, that's a, that is an area of concern. Now, how, what, how is, what is the LTA doing with, with the stakeholders that are responsible for the roads to, uh, to ensure that, you know, the roads are in decent, uh, are usable uh, for, for, for road users. Because that, you know, people have complained, there are too many potholes and, you know, their, their vehicles, they swerve to avoid potholes and they might hit another oncoming vehicle or hit a, a pedestrian. Thank you. Uh, I'll try and answer your question, uh, Rita. I think um, from uh, the Land Transport Authority's uh, point of view, we will always emphasize on safety. Now, uh, these are two different, um, uh, you know, uh, aspects of work. I believe, uh, you know, the daily maintenance of road is, uh, I think, uh, directly the under the under the um, Fiji Roads Authority. Uh, but we have uh, always uh, emphasized, uh, basically, in terms of safety, uh, basically. What we're trying to say is that uh, whenever uh, there's a requirement for us to determine the whether to ascertain uh, the safety of motor vehicle to be running on this particular road, that's basically where we we come in uh, in terms of safety. You know, uh, especially on uh, areas that probably would be introducing buses or public service vehicle. You know, uh, this is where we always come in and have the road ascertain whether it is worth uh, you know vic uh, it is worthy for, uh, bus. for for our buses or for road for vehicle to come in because these are public transportation 
uh, you know, uh, uh, these are it will be used for public transportation. So we obviously will try and come in 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 a road safety aspect and trying to ascertain whether this is right for buses to come in, for public to go on, and and that, that that's basically our role in terms of ensuring safety on the road. Okay, yeah. thank you. We'll take another break and we'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to Speak Your Mind on Gold FM. I'm Rita Narayan and today we're talking about road safety, the campaign that's being held this month. And in studio with me is Ilya Sasokia, Media Liaison Officer of the Land Transport Authority. Now, um, Ilya, so this month has been designated, has been set aside for this campaign. What are some of the activities that will take place during this month? Now, you, you have mentioned uh, awareness talks and with the different uh, stakeholders like bus drivers, taxi drivers, schools. What else have you is being planned for this year? Or this month, sorry. Thank you, Rita. Um, we have uh, we have a club called the Road Marshal Club. Uh, with us at the authority. Now, this is a very special club to us. They are our eyes and ears on the ground, our extended arm, you know, in terms of ensuring safety on the road. You know, uh, we cannot totally get the whole enforcement team or the whole total workforce of LTA. Let's go on the road and get some, you know, infringement. So we rely basically on uh, our road marshal club people. We have 7,000 7, members right across the country. So as we observe uh, the month of July as a campaign, road safety campaign, these are the people that uh, have been used. You know, we have uh, used them in terms of, uh, you know, visiting uh, schools, actually uh, talking to students, emphasizing to them uh, the do's and don'ts of what your behavior, probably in the bus, you know, we have seen... Um, buses every day with the students, uh, how they behave, uh, what you shouldn't be doing and, you know, uh, their, their, their attitude, what what should you be doing while sitting on the bus, you know. Uh, and uh, we have uh, teams that are actually uh, visiting uh, various taxi bases, you know, targeting and, enf and emphasizing PSV code of conduct, you know. We have received complaints about their behavior, bad behavior, how they've been very, you know, unprofessional in terms of service delivery, how they uh, relate to people, uh, probably their customer service uh, issue is not that uh, up to par with the code of conduct. Uh, all these are part of this campaign. We've also uh, touched on, uh, on some bus operators uh, uh, and also we are moving into various communities you know in fact uh, we have uh, brushes and flyers and posters we have printed almost uh, 50,000 pledges these are pledges where we are targeting at least 50,000 people basically we are targeting head of the house or head of the family fathers or mothers you know now with that pledge you know people can actually come in read okay write down that they are committed to the pledge. And with that pledge, they can say, we will, I will take the initiative. I'll go home and read the pledge to my wife, to my children. This is the pledge for, you know, behind the 50,000, we are creating not just 50,000, but probably quarter million, probably half million people with that uh, 50,000 pledges that we are going to issue. And, and this is our ongoing uh, program that will be that will be observed right through and we also are uh, arranging or organizing oratory contest whereby students or schools selected schools can come in and, and and do oratory contest on road safety we also have some sort of uh, awards for good uh, PSV drivers uh, taxi drivers good uh, awards for bus drivers and we even have some sort of incentive of, of some 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 general members of the public who who are you know we we will cross check their driving record if they seems to be in a, in a, in a good behavior we will we will 
gives them some some sort of incentive probably um, uh, waiver some sort of uh, of infringement some teens you know according you know on, on those lines mm-hmm. we, we are trying to to emphasize uh, to create some sort of of awareness to them that this is uh, being done to actually target the whole a cross section of people you know motorists uh, passengers pedestrian and uh and uh, for for now as we speak we have uh, teams who are actually down in the west uh, teams in the north and almost uh, every part of uh, the country because we have utilized the, our 7000 uh, member social uh, martial club uh, members that we have right. yeah. now i have to ask this question because I, i know a lot of times it's a lot of road users motorists uh, uh, drivers in particular as soon as they see the LTA you know it's like a straight up wall goes up there so what is the LTA doing to to sort of create that uh, awareness uh, amongst people that that you're not only out there to to book drivers or book anyone who who uh, breaks the law so to speak yes sorry that you said it correctly uh people have that kind of perception and uh, you know and uh, mentality against us eh? uh but uh, we are here to correct that uh, mentality and that perception uh we are here basically because of uh, we want to ensure safety on the road uh we could like i've said uh we all near limited in numbers you know there are thousands and thousands of people that commute collude to the road almost every day and we have only our good friend the police who are there to help us and uh, like we are the we are the, the right regulated uh, certifying agencies of uh, you know ensuring the regulation of road is followed you know and that is our role that is our core responsibility you know and we want to ensure that people do not infringe some of these road rules and regulation and if you come in and infringe it's basically you are committing an offense you know and every law breakers they have consequences so we want to ensure that people uh, work according to uh, to the rules and regulation of how to drive how to behave on the road and that's where we are here for that's why we are here for we want to ensure that people certify with everything we are a regulating agency uh in a certifying agency if people uh, do not have are driving with the uh, expired wheel tax we are here to ensure that they comply people are driving without a driving license we are here to ensure that they they have a driving license it, it it's it's simple as that and people see us negatively as trying to be a money making business entity no 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 we are not that we are here for the purpose of regulating and forcing and trying to comply with rules regulation of roads and vehicle registration and licensing. Thank you so much. Just before we end this program, what is your final message for for road users for this month of uh, July and your whole campaign on road safety? Thank you Rita. Probably the message from the authority is uh, the collective effort from the general members of the public. You know, we will never go tired. We will never uh, lack in trying to create this sort of awareness to everybody you no know, uh please uh life is very uh you know very precious you know uh, if you lose life unnecessarily it's this the social implication this financial implication this economic implication in the family in the society for government so our plea is that ensure that we maintain a a a a a road that is accident free that's the message i have uh, for the general public uh, rita a very good note to end this uh, program on thank you very much elias sokia of the land transport authority for being with us in studio today that was uh, speak your mind until next week i'm rita narayan goodbye